Welcome back yet again. We're discovering what it is to have a hunger for and therefore experience a life of encounter. An encounter with God, an encounter with the Holy Spirit. My friends, this today, and this next one, I want to talk about Gideon. Now, to me, Gideon is one of my favorite people in the Bible because the level of transformation in his life is extraordinary. One of my other favorites, of course, is Peter in the New Testament, because <laughs> Peter, wow, if, if, if Peter could muck it up, he mucked it up. If he could speak out of turn, he spoke out of turn. If he could do the wrong thing, he did the wrong thing. I mean, Peter was, was an explosion in a mattress factory going somewhere to happen. The man was schizo, but you know what? God saw his heart and God transformed him into the incredible apostle Peter that he became. Now, a similar story in the Old Testament is Gideon. A and Gideon, in Judges chapter six, you can get the story there. And, and Gideon was this intimidated, uh, a fearful young man. And by his own confession and declaration, a highly insignificant individual. His tribe was the smallest tribe, and his father's household was the smallest in the tribe, and he was the least significant person in the household. In other words, he was the least of the least of the least. You couldn't get a more apparently insignificant human being, and he knew it, and he knew it. I am a worm, it's amazing I'm allowed to live, I'm that far down the chain. And then Judges chapter 6 happens. In verse 33, then all the Midianites and the Amalekites, the people of the east, gathered together and they crossed over and encamped in the valley of Jezreel. Pause, pause. There's thousands and tens of thousands of these Midianites and Amalekites coming to devour all the produce. Just imagine working all year and producing all the produce and working and slaving and producing uh, uh, um, the crops only to have these guys turn up every year and rob you blind, persecute you, put some people to the sword, steal all their goods intimidation plus and so Gideon is so intimidated by all of this and most people would be and then it says this but oh I love God's buts but but the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon <laughs> he had an encounter and you can read in your own time what took place in that encounter. It was really cool. It was amazing. I mean, this conversation takes place. Um, uh, I'm, I'm calling you Gideon. You're a mighty man of valor. What? Don't be nuts. I'm, I'm the least of the least of the least. I know. I'm a, I've been fearful all my days. And, I, and quite frankly, I don't even believe in miracles. You read the story. And God just persists for this guy and says, no, 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 I can change all that. That's what encounter does. And so suddenly the Spirit of the Lord comes upon Gideon and he blew the trumpet, that's what it says here, and then the people of God gathered around him. Now stop for a moment. He wasn't the leading general of the day. He wasn't some notable leader. No one had ever heard of him. He was an insignificant member of an insignificant house in the smallest of the tribes and yet when he blows a trumpet they all gather together. That's supernatural people. It's supernatural. People sometimes say, oh I wonder how I can gather a church. I wonder how I can gather people around me. Well your sweat and your striving and your education is not gonna cut it. But if you have a life-changing encounter, whoever God wants to follow your leadership will gravitate to you, not because you're smart, but because you've had an encounter with a living God that's undeniable. And they gathered around Gideon. And that day, God gave Gideon such authority, such power, that they were amazed at what had happened to him 
and they never even thought to question. He says, look, I'm going to take you lot, uh, uh, only 300 of you, and I'll go, we're going to surround the camp, of, there's hundreds of thousands of them, and we're going to shout and declare the sword of the Lord and sword of Gideon, and none of these guys even thought about questioning the lunacy of what he was saying. Why? Because it was such an authority authority, such a, an incredibility, such a commanding presence of God in this young man's life that had been completely absent, absent just a few days before, hours before. He was a totally changed human being. Why? Because he had an encounter with God. My friends, he went from being the weakest and most insignificant human being on the planet to being a commander and general of God's people and the deliverer of a nation. I know what your background is. I don't know what your family connection is. Maybe some of you watching this right now have doubted your significance, doubted your worth, doubted your value. You're wondering whether you can ever do something as significant as those you read about. Some you've listened there in services and, or, or in times with friends and heard some of the amazing things they've done and you thought, I'll never do anything like that. I, I'm not that smart. I'm not that gifted. I, I haven't got those abilities. Uh, what can I ever do in life? My friends, what you can do is have a hunger for God, get aside and have an encounter with the Holy Spirit who will so fundamentally change who you are that he'll change what you're capable of. You can be a world changer. You can be a transformer. In my previous clips, I talked about what a transformer was. If you haven't watched them, go back and watch them. My friends, listen to me. You can become a transformer to your community, to your family, to society, no matter what your background is if you have a life-changing encounter with the Holy Spirit. Well, that's what I pray. I pray that every person that's ever felt insignificant or undervalued, that you would get to know my Father who values you, who has incredible significance attached to you. He sent his son Jesus to die for you. He sent the power of the Holy Ghost to transform you. Your future is incredible fulfilling, fruitful, as you have a life of encounter with the Holy Spirit and the Lordship of Jesus Christ and the loving heart of your Father. God bless you.